I had the blessing of going and attending the first consultation, regional consultation on Africa in the rise of global anti-Semitism. Uh, I was representing the Institute for Black Solidarity with Israel as well as Daisy International. Um, and on a personal level as well as a professional level, it was one of the most impactful, if mm. not the most impactful conferences that I have attended. Uh, two things that I would like to, to speak to because there's a lot. We have known as the Institute for Black Solidarity with Israel that the work that we do is not only important for the now, it's important for the future um, in relation to Africa-Israel relations because of the Africa-Israel relationship from an antiquity, uh, but also if we look at modern movements, social movements, um, political movements, and, 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 Israel has been at the forefront and standing with Africans as well as with African-Americans here in the United States. And so uh, knowing this and then going back to Cameroon, to the continent, and obviously having done a lot of work on the continent as well, it was so encouraging to see a few things. And one of them was the fact that this conference was organized and facilitated by the Presbyterian Church of Cameroon. Now, for anybody that knows the Presbyterian Church in the United States of America, this was significant. And it was so significant that in my opening remarks, I said to everybody that was in attendance that this is not only a situation of Africa in the light of global anti-Semitism, but the fact that Africa is a light in global anti-Semitism. I'll say it again, there's a slight difference there. It's, it wasn't just about Africa in the light, like what is Africa's role? What is Africa supposed to be doing? Thank you very much. Um, as there's this increase, this terrible increase in anti-Semitism matching and in some instances, even increasing levels that we saw um, in the 1930s, but Africa is a light and it is a, a, a light that is presenting a haven for the Jewish people. And I'll expand on that a little bit just now, but it is also a light in terms of leading the charge of of combating anti-Semitism and showcasing the love for Israel and Jewish people as we are supposed to do if we're, script, if we're Christians according to scripture and then if we're Africans because it's part of our DNA, it's mm. just who we are. In the United States of America, the Presbyterian Church is one of the leading institutions that is being an anti-Semitic tool. The Presbyterian Church in the United States of America at the forefront of the BDS movement. The anti-Semitic church in America is turning Christians away, is turning Americans away from Israel as well as uh, the Jewish people. But in Africa, it's the opposite. In Africa, the very same church, just on a different continent with different people who, if I may say so respectfully, are applying scripture properly and using their minds, they, they aren't idiots. Um, to say, no, 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 we are supposed to be standing up. So that was very, very uh, striking for me. And then the second part is the fact that uh, I've been to many incredible conferences here in the United States, as well as um, in various other parts. And I've also had the opportunity to participate in those. And I have not been to a conference where 25% of the time that was spent by everybody was spent in um, breakout sessions, not engaging on the topic and saying oh what does this mean oh how are we going to address this blah blah but actually coming up with solid step-by-step -step resolutions about what were the attendees going to do when they go back home and i looked at that and i was like my gosh i was so encouraged by it and i was also challenged at the same time to say that this wasn't a place and it was the first meeting of its kind in the area many of those people that came and that participated um had known about the fact that they need to stand in support with Israel and, and a little bit about why and how, but never really understood it. In fact, Joshua, I was asked to unpack what is anti-Semitism because they had had different understandings. So here you have a people who within hours, a day and a half, got it. We're like, we still want to learn more, but we understand the basic tenets of what we are supposed to do. And we're going to discuss it and unpack it, set milestones, have practical components to those milestones, whether it's in terms of the impact that needs to be there. There was already KPIs that were put there. They didn't leave out the young people. There were young people that were in attendance that also had their own sessions and that also passed their own resolution. And they're going to be working towards that for purposes of doing something and then culminating in the next conference, which is going to be next year in Tanzania. Thank you.